any questions? <clears throat> yes? Can you go back to the linkage point? Yeah, like for the red squares without, or like for any squares without the numbers, does that mean? These down here? Or like up there with the numbers on them? These yeah. guys? Um, I don't know why those don't have numbers in them. This is a source unknown <laughs> photo. So, um, so are we judging by color or by number? Like, because they're really red. They're kind of so both. Okay. Um, I, I, they could be that they're in perfect LD and they didn't want to write 100s in here. Maybe not because I don't actually see any hundreds in there, and like three digits isn't a hundred, and two is in, I might let the figure look bad. I don't really know, but if they are calling them red, if I didn't have information, I would probably let color up black, personally. So my guess is that they just... Well, the numbers don't correlate very well with the colors, so no. um, I think they're actually showing two different things on this figure. <clears throat> That's possible, too. Yeah. Um, usually when you see a figure like this, They've done a process um, called, uh, oh, nope, it's gone, um, where they see how often um, different parts of DNA are found close to other parts of DNA. Um, and so the numbers and the colors will represent um, the frequency of them being close to each other in the nucleus. Um, I guess it could also represent, so those numbers could also represent, like, the number of times that a recombination event was observed, but then I don't know what the color is. So. Yeah. So there's a we reuse images to mean many different things. Yeah. <laughs> like if this were a fine mapping study, then the distance from here to here would be very very short. In which case, these would definitely just be like the squared correlations. Whereas if this is like an entire chromosome, then more she was saying, as Sam was saying, like there's probably a lot more information that would be contained down here. And like, I just didn't look up what this is actually representing, so. But in general, this is how you interpret it. Things that have large numbers and a red color tend to be inherited together and are usually highly linked. Yeah, um, and, and the little triangles mean that the things within that region are usually <laughs> inherited together. Yeah. Which you can call a haplotype. A haplotype. <laughs> oh, and that brings us up to a fun term which I meant to tell you but didn't, which is called hotspots. So a hotspot, remember when I said that these recombinations occur on average, like every 60, 50, 60? Well, it turns out there's certain parts of the genome that still would love having recombinations occur. And a lot of times, like, like if you have, imagine there was a big red triangle here and a big red triangle here and everything between them was white. What that means is there's probably a hot spot right between them where it just loves recombining and so all linkage between this block and that block is just like gone. However, inside the blocks there's still a lot of LD. So any location of the genome where you just have recombinations occurring more often than you would expect by chance, I, to a first approximation, is a hot spot. At least that's how I understand it. Yeah. And it hasn't hurt me yet, so I'll go for that. <laughs> 